Hello friends. So after study of test automation, your selection and cost and your guidelines for testing tool and studying of your different types of testing tool like Z Jira, Bugzilla, Test Director. Now we have a IBM Rational Functional Tester. <music> Does. let us see what how does or what it does first let us see what it does so rational function tester creates an automated functional test by recording the actions of a user on the system under test and replaying the actions on demand that means when i'm performing a test automation test on on a tool on a web machine suppose i'm using a web based project to test to automate it, to automate my test cases or to automate my test, what happens is whatever the function, whatever the actions I have done, it has been recorded and it will be replayed when the actions on demand or when demanded, when the action is required, when there is a demand to show the replaying, it will execute that test. So the recorded actions are stored in RFT as a simple program known as a script. So script is .RFT scripts are displayed as a Java program. It will show you the entire documentation. It will replay you what are, what you have done for automate of your test. So it will replay all the things whatever you want to see. So this tool can test the success or failure of any step with a checkpoint. So which will compare with the actual result and the expected result under this RFT at the time of recording. So what are the benefits? Now if I am using this tool, I should know what are the benefits. So main benefits are its reusability. So this suppose uh, action 1 is recorded in, a, in that tool using the uh, IBM Rational Functional Tester that I have automated certain tests and it has been recorded. So whenever I demand it, it is played on. So this can be reused again and again, right? So with different version of application that has to reduce of time. Then consistency, so that, that means it will not overlap my test process or test execution one after the other. It will make and consistency so that long run, it whenever it requires, it will show up. Productivity. Automatic testing is fast and it can be run whenever without any extra resource. So IBM RFT, that means Rational Functional Tester, integrates a source control like your management tool, your rational clear case, rational team consultation. So all the tools which are required for your management tools, for your construction tools are can be integrated together. It also highly integrates with your quality manager. That means integrating RFT with your quality manager by using the adopter allows you to execute your test scripts. Then let us see about the feature. The feature is about the broad skill match. That means the IBM RFT tool has been designed for the users which have a different technical abilities and that, and that ensures about the quality assurance team is not tied up with them. Then this also involves with and understand the test flow with a visual storyboard format. So it is not required. That means every time your uh, testing team and your quality assurance teams are working together, it is not necessary to tie up with this. So you have I IBM Script Assure. That means advanced IBM technology learns its user interface feature and applies to the new software version. You have automated scripts which enable your development teams to create keywords, which will help you to automate those scripts and allow to easy reuse. Now Eclipse Java Developer Toolkit that means Eclipse ID that will help me to write with the help of the Java. That means the test script is in Java within the Eclipse. So I just need to understand my Java language. It automates the code completion. Now next tool is my Selenium. What is Selenium? Selenium let us see how it works. So Selenium was extracted from a Web based that means from a Python plus phone, it was the time and expense that was TNA. Application th though works, it was designed in. So, it is to make it fast and scalable, it was decided to use as button triggered in a JavaScript. 
and it could allow one as a feature it could allow one blank row in the form so since it is java javascript related that is it a web based so what is selenium basically selenium is a portable software testing framework for the web application project products so it can be written in html table or a coded in a number of popular programming languages selenium can be deployed in windows linux and mac macintosh so you don't have the os problem so selenium is used for user acceptance testing then you have what are the selenium components there are id rc and grid then selenium id is complete in integrated development environment for selenium test so that is site that is entirely an id it is also id but it is of web based firefox earlier it used a firefox extension for recording and editing the test and it allows you to do easy development for test you don't have any hassle or you don't have to jumble upon all your test work then Selenium ID features are like record and playback, the same with your IBM Rational Function Tester. So, an intelligent selection field is of ID name. And then you have automate complete of all Selenium commands. So, once you understand the tool, the working of the tools, all these features can be complete compiled to, or while working, you will identify. So, walk. Two test cases and test suite. We have learned walk through formal in reviews, informal reviews. So walk through test cases and test suite are one of the feature. You debug and you set the breakpoints to where it is stop where it will begin. Then you save them, save test in HTML or PHP or Java, whichever format you want. So support for Selenium extension is JS file because it uses JavaScript. then you have option to automatically accept the title for every page so every page when it is tested you can write your own title to identify for your purpose what it was and what it was meant for so the, up till now whatever the tools we have used you can study you can identify you can work on them so we have completed this chapter we have completed the different types of tools So next time we'll see with new chapter till then